Misha, pick up the phone. Ah, oh, there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? I have had a lot of client meetings. It's been very full on. We're doing a merger at the moment. So. Are you aware how tough this doesn't sound? Thanks for the sympathy. Anyway, mm. I've got some news. Okay. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well, I mean, they are inevitable. I was expecting more shit from you. Well, what, what's the saying? They have um, people in glass houses can't throw stones. No way, you too! Mm -hmm. Matches? Yes, a lot. No, a zero. But don't like apps, like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and. You're not helping! You know, they really try and help you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero, even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. What about you? Hey, the grass isn't always greener. I've got like. 80 likes. But like once you filter out like the bad profiles and the nude pics and the meh ones, it's all just a bit quiet. Are your standards a little bit high? No! Anyway, I have a new initiative in the works. What's that? Are you going to kidnap someone? I've signed up for speed dating tonight. <laughs> okay, why are you telling me this? Because I'm bricking it and like, do you want to have a drink before? Could you just say less? <laughs> It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds ago. See you there. Bye. Bye. Because there's no substitute for meeting someone face to face. Like you can see their physicality, feel their vibe. Yes, but what if there is no vibe? What do you do then? If you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone. My internet connection was crap. Mm. What do you do here? Welcome everyone to Speed Dating. My name's Derek, I'm your host. We're going to be beginning very shortly, so gentlemen, if you could make your way to your table numbers. You are so cynical. This is where you're going to find that genuine connection you keep banging on about. Why are you <laughs> smiling at me like that? <gasps> Why are you smiling at me like that? No, I'm not smiling, you're like everything. Misha? There is a small possibility I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are! No, I'm not! Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come on. No. Look, at least it's going to be a good story. It is not going to be a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's a great story. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. How does it work? Sorry, what? <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Okay, so the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to girls. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's one minute left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, mm. hence why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with the gentleman by your first allotted table numbers. And good luck. Have fun. <laughs> um, you're sitting in my first date seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. <sighs> Cheers. Sorry, just fixing my eyeliner. I'm Azalea. I'm Ryan. You don't look like a Ryan. No. Well, what do I look like then? Not sure yet. That's not from here, is it? No. You're gonna snitch? No. <laughs> I made it. Just like the kombucha poured into it. That's the uh, fermented drink, isn't it? Exactly. 
looks good. Are you happy with the batch? Very. Tell you more about it, but we haven't got much time. <laughs> so, the kombucha is homemade. And the goblet is homemade. What else is homemade? I'd say 90% of this. The clothes, the accessories, you make it all from scratch. Started selling my stuff online during lockdown and it grew into a full-time business. Wow, oh, that's really original. Thanks. Turns out my aesthetic plays quite well these days. What aesthetic is that? Call it what you want. I've heard hundreds of terms, kind and unkind. What brings you speed dating, Azalea? <laughs> I'm self-employed in a company of one. So the only man I see day to day is my gecko, Anton. Big up Anton. I don't like the apps. People are very judgy on there. Mm. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. I've been judged my whole life, so where I can actively remove myself from that environment, I do. Do I look like a Ryan yet? Not quite. All right then. <laughs> well then, um, what else can you tell about me? You definitely give me water sign vibes. You seem quite sentimental and sensitive. What gives you that impression? The fact that you were just triggered by the word sensitive. <laughs> just three minutes to go, everyone. Three minutes. I know. It's going very quickly, very quickly. You're really into your astrology then? Just me structure. I analyse my behaviour in the context of something bigger. My main star sign is Scorpio, which I think really suits me. <laughs> And um, then based on when and where I was born, my rising sign is a Sagittarius and my moon sign is a Libra. What's the difference be between those three? Your main star sign is your sun sign. It represents sort of your desires in life and your rising sign is how you present to others and moon sign's what you like deep down. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't really know about the other two, so... <laughs> Working out for you, but we haven't got much time, so... <laughs> so, then, what makes your sun sign so Scorpio? We aspire to be brave, loyal, honest. Any negatives? Jealous and secretive, but it doesn't really apply here. <laughs> Do you relate to them as animals as well, I guess? Aren't they really aggressive? Only when threatened. But don't they eat each other, though? Yeah. I forgot to mention that. And this is your final minute, guys. Final minute. So, I was wondering... No, um, I've spoken about myself enough. I want to know more about you. I feel like it's been pretty even. Can you just... It really hasn't, so I want to know more about you. Fine, fire away. What's your type? On paper. Translucent skin, ill-looking, hates the sun, allergic to garlic. That's the thing, that's the type I've always gone for. They suck. I see what you did there. Uh, anyway, what's yours? I would say that I'm fairly open-minded. Oh, come on. Everyone has an instinctive type. Well, I hope this doesn't freak you out. If I say that my type is something a little bit like you. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. So, um, this is specifically your type. Well, no, no, it's nothing to do with the way you look exactly. Um, I'd say it's more to do with the way you'd like to do things outside of the box. I think that is very interesting, and I think it's very attractive. Thank you, Ryan. Totally freaked me out though, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> That's your lot, ladies and gents. Time's up. Let's be moving on. That was the um, kind of interaction I was hoping for from this, thanks. Yeah, 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 me too. Uh, what is your handle? I'd love to check some of your stuff out. At Azalea Shadows, A-Z-A-L-E-A -A -E Shadows. A-Z-A-L-E-A -A Shadows, okay. <laughs> So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well, uh, there was Azalea. Mm. Yeah, she was something else. She brought her own kombucha. She had her own goblet that she brought. Goblet? Yeah, with a crow on it. It's just very different, but it was really interesting because it wasn't like any of the other dates I went on. Was there chemistry over kombucha? Yeah, I guess you could say there was a little bit of chemistry, yeah. I could see it going somewhere. Hmm. So, what's the next move? Well, I have one option. 
So I think I'm gonna send a message. Ooh, yeah, one's better than none. One is definitely better than none. Proud of you. Peace. Caught me fixing my eyeliner again. That is okay. Um, I actually thought that I was the early one for once. Uh, I took a look at your social media. It's really cool. Especially like all of the stuff you've been making. Thanks. I didn't notice the blitz of likes. It was pretty full on. Uh, so, um, have you had many orders to process this week? Lots. Plus um, a celebrity client requested a piece. I turned it down. Why? That's a great coup, surely. They demanded to skip the queue. I owe too much to my core clients to drop them for an impatient prima donna. Anyways, Mercury is in retrograde, so hassle was expected. Tell me about your week. So, um, Mercury in retrograde? Yeah. What about it? I have heard of it, but I don't, I don't really know much actually about it. It's an optical illusion where the planet Mercury appears to move backwards in the sky. It happens three or four times a year. It basically just messes with technology and life. <laughs> I can't say that I've noticed too much disruption to my life. <laughs> Aside from me entering it. So, uh, do you want a drink? Love a drink. <laughs> Hiya. It's hot in here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool place though. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, cheers, cheers. Do you know what I've just realized? Speed dating is great because you jump straight into the face-to-face -face so it eliminates any possibility of false advertising. Mostly. I am a saleswoman though. Oh, so you're a good liar. Well, we put that to the test. Let's play a quick game of two truths and a lie. <laughs> I haven't eh? done that in years. Okay, okay. I'll go first. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I can speak three languages. My cousin was my prom date because nobody asked me. And growing up, I had a guinea pig called Chuckles, which is the lie. That is quite a spread. Uh, I don't know which one I want to be the lie. Um, the date's the lie. There is no chance that no one asked you. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Um, you're correct. Um, but no one asking me was true. But I went with my best mate, Danny. And you know, we had the best time out of everyone. So, no drama, just good vibes. Exactly. Danny was the best boy at school. <laughs> Should I be worried about Danny? <laughs> He's gay, it's Christmas. Your turn. I have a third nibble. I have climbed. Mount Kilimanjaro. I am a king fisherman. Tough ones. The nipple is the lie. <laughs> I just can't see it. Can you imagine me topless just there? Purely for the purposes of the game. Don't flatter yourself. You say so. <clears throat> Correct. I am a dual nippled man. I'm really impressed the Kilimanjaro one's true. Mm. <laughs> Thanks so much to achieve those physically and, you know, mentally demanding feats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just an amazing life experience. Um, uh, the fishing one is also true. Let's not talk about that. Okay. Round two. Go for it. Okay. My parents met on the set of a porn film. My real name isn't Azalea. My body count is more than 20. Is there one you want to pick the line? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Very carefully. The body count one is the lie. Correct. Wait, does that mean your name isn't really Azalea? I'll explain another time. Gone by Azalea for a decade now. Wait, 
wait again. Does that mean that your parents met on a porno set? Oh. Yes. They weren't starring in it. They get too excited. Um, so basically, my mum was a makeup artist, and my dad owned the studio that it was being filmed in. <laughs> so, as a makeup artist on a porno set, does that? What does that entail? I haven't really got into that conversation with my mum. I don't really think she would appreciate it. <laughs> Your turn. I have octophobia, which is a fear of the number. I need ten hours sleep a night. I collect novelty coasters. The coasters is the lie. It's the most boring. Oh, can't all be as interesting as you. Yawn. Was I right? Sorry, that one is true. I'm chuffed. I was actually bluffing. I'm a collector myself. Of? Clocks. Small, handcrafted ones. Recently got this amazing cuckoo clock from Freiburg in Germany. Cool, well, we'll have to uh, compare collections sometime. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> so, um, Doctophobia, the line? Well, there's only one way to find out. Just say the number. I want to go about this by legitimate means. Bingo. Good. That would be um, an inconvenient phobia to live with. <laughs> so, 10 hours is true. Mm. I work at night, so I have irregular sleep patterns. Well, we have to work something out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of accommodating to do. Anyways, I was a junior clay pigeon shooting champion. Mm. I have more piercings that can't be seen than can. And I'm allergic to bullshit. Is this a trick one? I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit is the line. Wrong. I am totally allergic to bullshit. Very witty. No. Literally. You are literally allergic to the shit that comes out the back of a bull. I discovered it the hard way, cleaning out the stables at my uncle's farm. Um, that's also where I learned clay pigeon shooting, but I never touch a gun now. That sounds like an interesting childhood. So that means that the piercings are the lie, right? Surprising, eh? Did you have some good mental images, though? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't even give it a moment's thought. Can I loop back to the fact that your name isn't actually Azalea? I'm not a habitual liar, I promise. Just ask me anything. You're deflecting. <sighs> I said I'd explain another time, and there's plenty more to learn about me anyway. I want to know what you are really passionate about, Azalea. Good one. Doesn't get asked enough. Um, I've dabbled in all sorts, so whilst my business is what I enjoy at the moment, I know it won't last forever. You get bored easily? No, it's just I'm still searching for my true passion. Yeah, no, I get that. Well, I hope you find it soon. Thanks. So... Matt! Where are you? Why did I... you get that drunk in the place Lad. like this? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, love. Looks like you could use a bit of extra colour on that Halloween costume. <laughs> oh, prick! That's not on. Are you really gonna come at me like this? Dad, it's Elliot. Leave. I can handle myself, Ryan. Listen to your boyfriend, Lady Dracula. You got a big mouth, haven't you? Yeah, I'm very witty. Apologise to me, right now. For what? I'll get you kicked out. Ruin your big night out with the lads, unless they've abandoned you on purpose. All right, sorry. Thanks for letting me handle that. No worries. Oh, um, here. Don't 
trouble, thanks. Looks good, yeah. Thank you. It goes well with the pentagram, so. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Get it? Oh, yeah, no, hang on. Honestly, it's cool. Uh, no, I appreciate the offer, but could we split it? Go on then. So that was really cool, Ryan. Thanks for the game, too. Yeah. No, of course. Um, I can't really believe you're still around after some of my truths. <laughs> Are you okay getting home? Yeah. I'll order a cab now. Fancy ways with me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. So who's going to get the third date? No commentary, please. <laughs> He's scrolling. Um, scrolling back. Oh, okay. Hello. Um, Azalea, it is Ryan speaking from the other night. Um, uh, how are you? I'm uh, very good. Um, I was wondering if you would like to uh, maybe get some dinner, some drinks or something? Yeah? Yeah, yes, okay, uh, great. Um, okay, I will send you a message. I know a cool bar we can go to. Sound good? Okay. Uh, bye, Lydia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She said yeah. She said yes. You're not gonna be terminally alone. I was hand washing your jumper. Oh, thank you. Uh, you didn't have to do that. Uh, and you aren't late, by the way. Why did you retract it then? <laughs> uh, who's that on your screensaver? Uh, that is my best mate, Misha. Oh, you guys look cute together. No, 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 no. It was never like that. How come? She's gorgeous. I don't know. It was just never a thing. There's always a reason, even if it's a simple one. I just didn't fancy each other. We really are not each other's types. Why do I feel bad for you guys? <laughs> oh, don't. Um, it was a great foundation to start off a friendship. Like, we are unequivocally unattracted to each other. Well, luckily for you, attraction is very subjective. Yeah. I mean, one woman's trash could be another woman's treasure. <laughs> it sounded better in my head. Uh, food. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. What are you thinking? They got a lot of vegan options. Mm -hmm. oh, organic vegan tapas spread. Fancy giving it a whirl? Why not? Get it. Do you cook? Yeah, quite a lot. You? No, never. You're gonna love this. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. What's the verdict? Remind me of everything. We had patatas bravas, fried vegan cheese balls, vegan empanadas, garlic and pasty stuffed mushrooms, and my personal favorite, padron peppers. To be honest, I, I, I am actually a little bit surprised I didn't even miss the meat. I don't think I'll go back. Welcome to Team Vegan. How do they get that much flavor into the empanadas? Well, I think I tasted some sauteed mushrooms, mm -hmm. some onion, pepper, 
and a shit ton of herbs. <laughs> what? Do you know what a herb was? It was, there was... I think it was like basil. Oh, I thought it was coriander. It's definitely not coriander. <laughs> I don't cook very frequently, so... It tastes like soap. <laughs> Obviously, most countries' cuisines are meat dominant, but I feel like our generation are going plant-based in a meaningful way. Yeah, I mean, for us growing up, most of the dinners we would have had at home would have been meat. Same, beef, pork, veal, lamb, rabbit, you name it, bloody oysters. That's <laughs> very fancy. Yeah, they are. <sighs> My real name, it's Tallulah Fordingham. Fordingham. Uh... Yeah, that Fordingham. I see. Your family is a massive deal. <sighs> Tallulah wanted to disassociate from them because Azalea is an activist against everything they stand for. So, are there any causes that you're passionate about? Yeah, but what exactly about them didn't you like? The list includes elitist attitudes, questionable political involvement, and a cherry on the top fox hunting. Simply the biggest cause I believe in would be equal rights for everyone. Isn't it crazy that something so simple is an ideal? Changing a mindset doesn't happen overnight. Are you um, active or passive in your actions to affect change? After all, most prejudices are invisible. Yeah, I would say many aren't even conscious a lot of the time. That's on microaggressions. No, I would call someone out if they did something out of step. I don't think it's enough to be not racist and not sexist. I think if you actually want something to change and something to happen, you need to be anti-racist and anti-sexist. And if something happens and you see it in front of you, I think you need to call them out on it because otherwise, why would they change? Exactly. You know? I believe personally that being anti-isms is the only way to educate people. Do you fancy something sweet? Not for one, but I might have a nibble of yours if you're cool with that. No problem. What's for dessert? Well, I have a surprise for you. Well, it's actually more of a digestif than a dessert, but... Kombucha. Yeah, kombucha. <gasps> no way. Mm -hmm. Smells interesting. Did you make it yourself? No, no, don't worry. I ordered it online, so it has been properly made. Where from? It is from Guatemala. Uh, no, no, it is from uh, Guadalupe. Mm. Really wild flavor. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. Oh. No, I'm still getting used to it. Oh, sick. Mm. You're just yeah. chugging, chugging that down. <laughs> I'm not a surprise person, but I appreciate the effort. I did a bit of research. It's, it's you know, it's come from a little small local farm in Guadalupe. Nice. So, um... <sighs> I'm pretty into you, and, um... These past couple of dates have been the best I've had so far. I was hoping you felt the same way. I'm pretty into you too. That's a relief. So what do we do now? You can kiss me if you like. You okay? Bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Hey. Oh. Azalea? 